Hi everyone, I'm Ali, and today I'm going to be drawing all my personas from 2019 to 2022. If you don't know what a persona is, and don't feel like doing a Google search, it's basically who you are as an artist, but it's not necessarily you. It can be based on your personality, your looks, your style, your worldview, and more. P.S. This video was actually supposed to come out on the 12th, so I could do this whole thing that I post interesting and elaborate videos every 12th of the month. But I missed the deadline, so let's just pretend it says 12th of August of 2022. Okay, so 2019. This was around the time when I first got into drawing. It was my first ever persona. Um, let's just say she wasn't really like me. Like, she was a fictional character. She wasn't me. She was like an, an original character. She didn't act like me. She didn't look like me. She didn't feel like me, to be honest. Um, but it was what I aspired to be. It was my... I idolized self. It was how I wanted to be and act and look and be to everyone. Uh, the aesthetic was a bit artsy. I wanted to have bleach hair and painted pants and be those artsy girls on TikTok that were trending all over my For You page. But I never did. I'm glad, to be honest. And yeah, this is how it turned out. This drawing took four fucking attempts. I hate that. Um, but I ended up liking the end results, so 7 out of 10. 2020, the worst year of the history of years for me, which isn't a lot, to be honest. Um, this persona was similar to what I looked like. Honestly, it was just me with a leaf hanging from her head, which I don't understand the meaning of, but sure. Um... It was when I got into my big Discord, Minecraft, Minecraft YouTubers, faceless streamer face on the middle of the pandemic. I started making friends online with who watch uh, Minecraft YouTubers, so I got into Minecraft YouTubers and I was watching Nia2, Tommy Ennett, um, Tabo, Wilbur Suit, Dream, George, I can go on and the list is long. Um, my For You page at the time had flipped from artsy girls to faceless streamers. I wanted to be one of them, so I tried. It was very cringy. I regret that with my whole heart. Uh, I'm happy with the results, but I find her boring. Very boring. So 6 out of 10 or 5. 5 and a half. Okay, so the next one is pretty similar to the other one. It's just a few changes to make her more interesting, you know, because she was boring. And I'm not gonna say that. Um, so I just added a magical crystal, elf ears, and a fascination for the color purple. So I'm not gonna say much about her. So yeah, it was my YouTuber sauna. Uh, I'm pretty happier with her. Um, let's just say an eight, maybe. No, let's go with a seven. She's bad. Okay, 2020. Uh, this was a whole plot twist because we went from nothing like me to literally me to somewhat like me, to not me. Uh, so, uh, this is, she is pretty different for me. And you may say, no one will say this, but I'm gonna act like I know what you're thinking. How did you went from that to that? Uh, wait, I, wait, I, why do I talk like this? Um, the reason was because I wanted to be more dedicated to becoming a faceless streamer. So, uh, I decided to give my character a backstory you know those deep ones dark ones so yeah you can see the dyed hair which was trending at the time it was trending and you can see the princess dress you know that is interesting i like that honestly i like her design a lot this drawing is not ideal i like a lot how the clothes turned out i added a few little details a little of this a little of that but I don't like her face, uh, so I will give it a 9 out of 10, because I like this era so much. I love it. I love her. Now we go to my last persona, before the one that I'm creating now, uh, which is the 2022 one. And this one doesn't really... it isn't far off from me, and it isn't far off from the new one. Uh, in this one, I was more into Genshin Impact uh, than into Minecraft, you know? So you can see the little child earring and it was pretty basic. I mean, it is basic, which is 
easier to draw, uh, but she still doesn't look like me. It was still an idolized self. Blue eyes. I don't have blue eyes. I have brown as shit eyes. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any comments on her. She's not bad and I like her, but she's not like me. So 8 out of 10. Okay, so now let's go with the 2022 version, Alice version. Uh, she looks pretty similar to the older one. The only difference is the color palette. Uh, she was she had more reddish hair, and a little bit of red accents and blue eyes. So I switched that for me, but more fantasy. You know, it's me with my moles and my hair color and my brown eyes. But I got uh, some dyed hair, which is the blonde parts, I don't know. Uh, elf ears, which is new. Piercings, which is also new. And my style is pretty much the same. I just added some pins for fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results. I hope that in, when I draw her more, I get more friendly with her because i'm not a big fan of her but i hope that if i draw her more and more and more and put more effort into the drawing i will like her more why did that sentence did literally no sense uh, made literally no sense um so yeah this is the finish bit paint so yeah i give her an 8 out of 10 Okay, so now that I'm done with all of them, I decided to mash them all together into a big drawing, a long drawing, uh, so I can make those cool Insta Instagram things that the posts connect, you know? And meanwhile, I'm gonna talk. So these are my main personas. Why main, you might ask, uh, because at some points, I decided it would be cool to have multiple personas but then no one would know that they were all personas. So maybe like self-insert OCs, you know? So I might, I might make a part two for this video where the personas, I make the, I draw, I redraw the secondary or alternative personas, which are cool. Are, I think some are, some are even cooler than the one in this video but they are less, so maybe that will be easier for me. So yeah, I'll see you all the next time.